Hi guys, are you looking for something beautiful yet healthy all at the same time for these holidays? I have got an idea for you that I think you're gonna love and I'm gonna go ahead and do the spoiler alert up front. Here is a picture of my apple pear walnut cake. I love it so much and it's completely sugar free but your taste buds will be dying for more because you cannot tell that it's sugar-free at all. So let me tell you what I do. This is so simple. I start out with three extra large, very ripe mashed bananas. Ma uh, the ripe, make sure they are ripe. They, they bring out a greater sweetness. To that, I add six beaten extra large eggs. This is a very simple recipe. There's only like five main ingredients in this. If we weren't filming, I would mix this with the beaters after that's done, I pour in a little bit of vanilla and cinnamon and baking powder and make sure that's well incorporated. And then for my dry ingredients, all I add is three cups of oats. I don't like grinding this. I don't like grinding it to flour. I like the hearty fiber uh, texture to it. And also when we have more fiber, it decreases the rise in blood sugar which does all kinds of bad things in our body. So we like that. We like a slower rise in our, our blood sugar. And fiber is the one that helps with that. So incorporate that. And then to that, I add a pound. It's about two really large apples. I'm really loving the sweet tango that are in the stores right now. So just stir that together till that's well incorporated. That's it. That's the cake part. When this is all stirred together, you just pour it into a nine by 13. As you can see, I line mine with parchment paper. I'm lazy, I don't like all the cleanup and it comes out so nicely. So I just pour that into there and top it with two tablespoons of chopped walnuts. And here comes the fun part with the pears. I like the red and you. Again, make sure this is ripe. I think it brings out the sweetness in the fruit. And you can either use two or three for my recipe, I did use three, but slice them up and then just design whatever you want, however, to go on top of your cake, what, however you like. If you don't wanna do a, a design, you don't have to do that either. I like making it a little bit fancy for my taste. But there you have it. And you bake it at 375 for 40 minutes and it is divine. Now, if you don't want this for a party, no problem. I have it for breakfast. It's just got the oats, the protein, with the eggs and the fruit. It's a perfect breakfast. I love it every day. If you have fun, sugar-free, healthy holiday ideas, send them to me. I'd love to see them and share them with others. But most importantly, have a wonderful holiday. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.